Hey everybody, I'm doing a little video on showing you how to uh, check your ECU codes in your 240SX uh, S13 91 to 94 model. So I was driving along and this happened to me. Oh, well, you can't see it now because obviously it's reset the code. But um, yeah, let me just go ahead and get into how to check your check engine light. Anytime your check engine light comes on, since it's OBD1, um, you're gonna be able to check that by checking your ECU, and hopefully you don't mind my mess, but uh, the ECU is actually located in the passenger kick panel right over there. So we'll get right into that. Now that we're here um, on the passenger side, you're definitely gonna want a lot of space, space to kick out your legs. Um, but yeah, so the kick panel is held in by a number of screws. Uh, you've got this little plastic guy right over here. Take a screwdriver, loosen that, and you'll be able to pop this sucker right out. It's kind of difficult for me to do this one-handed. Sorry, I wasn't even looking at the video. So there's that. Alright, this bad boy falls right out. Not too bad. Okay. Next on the list, um, you've got this little plastic clip right over here as well. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but because uh, you can really just muscle your way through that, but I do it anyway. So there's that. Alright. Boom. And then underneath here, we have number of screws as well. We have one right here. Go ahead and loosen that one out. And then we also have one located right up here. And I went ahead and loosened that earlier so okay. So that's good. So once that once those are out of the way you can really just, if you want to, hold this piece of plastic up and move the other one underneath it and out of the way. So, um, I didn't find it necessary to unplug this part right here for the light. Uh, some people do, if you need the extra space, I didn't. So, what you're staring at right here is your ECU. Now this bad boy is held in by a couple of uh, nuts that actually do have some Phillips screw head points. So if you're able to, you can actually remove them this way, as so. All right. You're probably not gonna be so fortunate because I've done this before and it's not gonna be this loose. But there's also one more and that's gonna be that guy right over there. All right, Let's see if I get that video to focus in on that guy, but that one. Okay, so it's not gonna do it. Thing's not behaving. All right, so it's gonna be this screw in the back. So take your time, get that bad boy out of there. All right, once you're able to get that out, uh, the two bolts, the one from the bottom here, and the one right above it, right over here, your ECU is free to come out. Now, what you're looking for is actually the front panel of the ECU, and it's quite easy to get to. You just have to get this big bunch of wire out of the way, the uh, engine harness connector. So. Once you do that, you get this guy right there out of your way. And you're actually able to see the front part of your ECU. Now what you're looking for is this LED right over here. I know in 89 to um, 90, I think it's 89, 90, and possibly 91 models, I'm not even too sure, uh, with the um, KA24E single cam motors, 
they've got two LEDs, one green, one red. But since this is a DE, this actually has just one red LED. So how this works is um, you actually want to turn this clockwise. And what you want to notate here is um, the position of the screw. Um, as you can see, it's notated right here. Um, if you read this, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, I guess it's pretty confusing for some people. But let me see if I can hold this and turn the screw at the same time. Let's see if I can mess this, make this work. Okay. So you just want to take a flathead screwdriver. All right. And you want to turn this bad boy 360 degrees clockwise. So, like so. Okay, so this front end of the screw, you want to mind where it is. I mean, it'll, you can feel it stop here at this point and don't force it anymore. All right, once you're there, uh, I read a couple of uh, different ways on the internet of how to, to set this or not set it, but leave it there. And what I do is, <clears throat> take my keys you're not exactly gonna start your 240 but you are gonna put it in the on position so let's move that steering wheel put it in on okay what you're looking for from here is you're gonna take your ECU screwdriver Oops. ECU screwdriver I'm going to turn this bad boy all the way back to its original position and from here you can notice right off the bat that LED is blinking alright so here we have one two, three, pa four, five, six, oh, yeah, it's just all about counting these LED lights. One, two, three, four, five, pause, one, two, three, four, five, and I think that means it's clear. I'm not too sure. I have to look that up, but that's what my LED is blinking. So once you're satisfied with what your code is, you have to put this back and by doing that you're gonna put this back into the self-diagnosis mode again turn it all the way hold it for two seconds and this is gonna reset the code so once you effectively get your codes boom leave it there so now solid LED good to go and putting this back it's just as easy as it was as taking it out. All right, so hopefully this video was informative to the rest of you guys. If you guys have any questions or any comments, leave them below, and that's it. Good luck.